Hey, Kevin what's Scott up, Kong. YouTube? This is Martin Day Trades, and I just got done reviewing today's move. And as you guys can see, today was FOMC, and how it came out with some news. And I was going short. I got stopped out by one pip because I didn't wait till the 70 to 79 percent pip level. I got in at the 62 percent, and by one pip, I got stopped out right here. And um is okay because then it dropped let's see how many pips that was from this high to this low that's 319 pips in like two minutes and then it went up took the liquidity from the buy side from the buyers that just pushed this down took this liquidity so this move was the first move was 300 pips the second move was 365 pips and then the move down for the rest of the day, which was 589 pips. So there was a lot of money being made today. Um, I got just knocked out. I was like, I, this, I'm, not, I'm not used to this type of price action. And that doesn't mean I'm not going to get better because I'm going to do my daily review. See, right there. Okay. 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 So, from what I can see is there was the There was this move later in the day because 9:30 was right here and it came up i got i started going short right here and then i held this all the way through this got stopped out right here and then it went short so we can see where the targets were there was this 15 minute bullish order block there's also this 30 minute bearish order block and 15 minute bearish order block Okay, so there was this, okay, so right here, this FIB level, I'm going to kind of draw it out there. Okay, so we have it from this low to this high. Let me go ahead and put a little circle right there. to this low measuring this full retracement I said well this happened it needs to have a pullback and it did to the 79% gotta be able to be more disciplined when I take my entries I entered at the 62% and honestly if I just entered even at the 70 not even at the 79% I would have been well within the stop loss parameters risking 50 pips
moves of the day, but um, this was the one move I was expecting. I stopped out 1% because I got in at the 62%. So let me show you guys where I got in. I'll put that value up right here. Um, originally, I had a sell position at 11,919. Right there, guys. You see where I got stopped out. Um, so, and I got in at the 62%. I'm gonna draw the little line right here. Uh, you can see where my entry kind of lines up is between the 62% and the 70%. So that's not good. It needed to be between the 70% and the 79%. So even if I entered right at the 79%, which is like right there, I would have been secured in this trade. So that's how important it is, guys, to stick to those rules that we have. Do not enter until unless it's between the 70 and 79%. Um, and uh, there's lower probability of catching something that just sticks to the 62% because more often than not, it's traveling to the 70, 79%. Um, Point proven today it did go a little past the 79% but if we enter at the 70 to 79% we have 50 pips to risk past that um, for it to be a failed trade um, and just FOMC uh, towel speaking caused this type of these type of swings um, congratulations if you guys took one of these three trades today um, it all happened towards the end of the day so later second half of the day is when these moves actually happen um we're now at the asian session range it's down at 11,538 technically this is a big figure level we could get in for the long the retracement here um but this isn't my time of day to be trading uh this is almost getting ready for like london session uh setup but um i'm not i don't trade this so i'm not or this time of day so I won't be taking a trade until the open tomorrow, but from what I see, uh, if there's a little retracement here even so, let's see. Boom. Boom. Down here. Yeah, as soon as it gets back down to the 11,500 range, which lines up with the 79% FIB level, and I'm on a five minute chart. Let's go down to 15 minutes, see if there's any order blocks. Uh, I would say that's an older block right there. The last down candle before the move up. Order block. Let's refine that. Maybe it's a 30 minute order block. Let's see. No. Yeah, 30 minutes. Boom. Okay. So. Gemini, the dot com. 30 minute bullish order block. 79% fib levels. Um. Asian session, little pullback for London expansion. I can see this happening. If this happens, it may be a good trade. Trade off. Let's see. So from here to here to uh, to the top side. Where to? Let's see where it could fill. Is there any fair value gaps that was created? have a couple fair value gaps um that it could target any order blocks okay we have a five minute order block up here last up candle before the down move let's go to 15 minute chart i don't see anything that's very visible oh 30 minutes um hour and this right here is now null right there
four hour chart shows a order block up here. Um, one hour, 30 minutes. Ah, uh, there it is, 30 minutes. But, um, kind of wide in the range. We can cut that down to 50% and only take a trade off if it's in the 50% of this order block, which lines up to the 70 to 39%. Um, how many pips would that be for the short side? Um, okay, say so we're entering right here. 50, oh, that's 150 pips within it. This isn't a very good uh, area to be entering. We would have to enter. Mm. Yeah, no. Let's see right here. Ugh, this is a horrible. I I don't even see anything that's really clearly visible to trade something where this could find a target. Um, it could do a retracement up to the this level. There's a fair value gap, 38% continuation level. So London may have a push up into this range up here. I don't know. I'm just kind of predicting it. And if it does happen, then I'll know what I'm what I'm gonna do. Uh, but it may go up higher. And if it does, um, I will put on risk of one percent if it gets into this range, because then it may come back down this way for the move lower, right? Uh, oh wow. Yeah, no. Um, Fib level is mad. Okay. Yeah, so there there seems to be an area where we could look for a trade. Honestly, I'm not trying to do that right now. Just showing you guys where the moves happen in the day. But uh, tomorrow, I'll post another video um, and show you guys what happened in the market and how we can prepare for tomorrow's move. So you guys can like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you trade. If, you, if you're trading pat patterns, let me know why. If you're trading smart money concepts, let me know why. And uh, maybe we could bounce some ideas off each other.